All right, we're on our way back to the vet for our checkup and for the telehandle vaccines. This is probably going to date me, but being in California makes me consistently think of the 1990 classic movie, The Wizard, where Fred Savage breaks his brother Jimmy out of a mental institution and they run off together to California. And I think the only thing Jimmy can say is, California. Here I'm bringing Riot back to the same vet where she had to spend 12 hours after finding a cannabis joint in Joshua Tree National Park. So I think she's a little unnerved, but I don't think she's really that unnerved. It's also super awkward for me to vlog yet. I'm not that comfortable with it. So I do not vlog the entire visit because I felt like we had two really great experiences here, so we highly recommend VCA Valley Animal Medical Center. Now I mentioned I didn't record the entire vet visit because I felt weird about it, but I am going to show you a bunch of tricks that Riot does. So if anyone is familiar with the breed, the Belgian Malinois, they are not ideal as pet dogs. I worked with her as a business partner for the last almost six years of her life, her entire life. And so I have to keep her really active. So we did a bunch of training after we went for a six mile hike. That's the type of dedication you have to have on a daily basis to own one of these dogs. Something that I know Riot would want to get back into is our protection work. So I'm hoping that at some point on the road, if I, especially if I settle down somewhere, I get back into a protection club with her. In the interim, we spend time each day making sure that her obedience stays on point. And here's some beautiful scenery from the Cottonwood Mountain Wilderness. You may notice I'm in a winter coat. Some days have gotten down into the 30s with 40 mile per hour winds. Still better than Chicago winters any day though. This monument is dedicated to all soldiers that served at Camp Young and those lost in World War II. This dead tree with women's shoes hanging off of it is one of the more random installations I've come across on public land. I assume either it's an art project or a signal of human trafficking. If you know what's going on with it, leave it in the comments below, please. We came to California because it's where I wanted to go to celebrate my birthday. Unfortunately, it looks like some mice wanted to come celebrate with me. It doesn't look like they did any damage, but I sprayed a bunch of essential oils onto these cotton things like the internet told me to do, and we'll see how it goes. Now, this coffee thing has really pissed me off, so you're going to see me drill some holes into the bottom of it because it doesn't drain coffee worth a damn. I got it on Amazon. I do not recommend it. I'm going to go buy some coffee filters and use it like a pour over typical high-class white trash. I am so thankful to have the privilege to travel and I don't know how long this is gonna last and so we're really trying to enjoy each moment. 
as it comes to us. And we appreciate you being patient as we figure out how to vlog. This journey is definitely as much spiritual as it is physical. In this last year of life, I've learned that it's never too late to reinvent yourself and it's never too late to start over. And you can do that as many times as you feel until you're taken from this earth. Uh, in the immortal words of Towns Van Zandt, it's easier than just waiting around to die, which is what I kind of felt like I was doing there for a while. And so it's nice to feel more alive and figuring out what that means. More than anything, Ryan and I appreciate you watching and being patient as we figure out uh, how to YouTube. <laughs> Till next time, have a riot. Till next time. Dun, 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 dun. I want to ride.